What's up, guys? We're back with another reaction video. What are we doing today? So today I figured that we would do a song that I actually don't know. And from a band that I actually don't listen to. So we're going to do Redneck by Lamb of God. Okay. I don't know this. I don't know this song. Uh, I had friends that were really into Lamb of God. I couldn't tell you a single song by them. Yeah. No, they're hard. Um, yeah. Are they the ones that do the, that wall of death at their concerts? Do you know what I'm talking about? Yeah. They have they they separate the I fucking thing and they so. run into each other. They do it a lot. I don't think they're it's just unique to their concerts, but like it does happen at their. No, concerts, there's I believe there's one band that's infamous for I it. I think it's Lamb of. I think it is I think too, you're right. but I'm not sure. Um. Yeah. So I know I listen to like Slipknot and Corn and uh, Avenged Sevenfold and whatnot and a bunch of other bands like that. I never really got into Lamb of God. Anytime I've listened to their songs, I feel like it's a little too much for me. <laughs> but honestly, I don't really think I ever gave them that much of a fair try. So we'll see. We'll see. Cool. We shall see. Okay. So don't forget to like and subscribe. Follow us on all social media channels. And our username's like right there. Okay, just let me get my earphones in. And we'll try to break down the lyrics. I don't really know what we're in for. We don't know. We might just end up glossing over them. And <laughs> so let's, see. let's go. pause because i've never heard this song before yeah um so yeah it's not as insane as i thought it would be yeah I'm i guess i misjudged i'm impressed I with the music i really like the instruments are very good yeah i like it a lot the guitar the drums are crazy and let me know if you guys think i'm ridiculous or not but like in the beginning his voice kind of reminds me like the kind of kind of sounds like the lead singer of godsmack a little bit a little bit. I don't know enough. Not the same, obviously, but like he sounds a little like him. I don't know enough Godsmack to know if I'm pick up on them mm -hmm. or not. So he goes, so goddamn easy to write this. You make it spill off the page. Mm -hmm. So drunk on yourself, righteous, a laughing stock of your own fucking stage. Okay, so he's talking about someone who's just like very much full of himself, into himself, probably has a very big ego. Yeah, and I'm assuming he's saying he's writing this song so about whoever the song's about which is called redneck so i guess whoever he's referring to is you know why it makes it so easy for him to write because it's there's such a shit show or whatever you know okay interesting he goes oh but i ain't one to call names or throw stones in a house of glass you try me <laughs> so he's saying he's not perfect and he's not one to call names. Yeah. And he's got his own faults. Yes. Um, mm. This is a motherfucking invitation. The only one you could ever need. This is a motherfucking invitation. You try me. Um, and I think I came up to here. Oh, yeah. That's kind of like self-explanatory. I don't think we need to break that down. No. Was there any more? Yeah. I think I ended like right here. 
So it goes just one time, you got a reason, but you had nothing to lose. A blind preacher for the pin-eyed congregation, it must be easy to loathe. Just one time, you got a reason, but you had nothing to lose. A blind preacher for the pin-eyed congregation. So if your eyes are pins, could be one of two things. Could be on, on dope or on dr any other drug that does that to your eyes. Or you could be like, it could mean that like, I don't know. What do you, what does this mean to you? So that line with the pin eye congregation, I, I have no context, but what I, what my mind went to is it's a blind preacher for a group of people that can't really see so well themselves. If they're pin eyed, just that their eyes are small and they probably can't see that well. And, but the preacher's blind completely. Do you know what I mean? So it's like, like the blinds leading the blind effectively. And then just one time you got a reason, but you had nothing to lose. What was the line right before this? Yeah. If you go back there, let's see. This is an invitation. Interesting. Yeah. So I'm not sure about the, um, just one time you got a reason, but you had nothing to lose. Yeah, I'm not sure. But it must be easy to loathe that I I get that. Yeah, guys, let us know what this means. Mm -hmm. We'll see if we find out. Mm-hmm. Yes, I totally just let that whole thing play out. <laughs> um, where were we? Okay. So, yeah, wait. I love how it was going from, like, one side to the other side. The headphones, right? That. Yeah, that was yeah. interesting. Um, where, where I'm, like, we? very, very impressed musically. Like, the yeah, instruments. Yeah, really good. The guitar. Like, all of it. That fucking outro. That little, like, the last, I don't know, 45 seconds or yeah, so. Yeah, that was awesome. Guitar, it was fucking sick. Mm -hmm. That was really, I like really it. good. I guess I misjudged Lamb of God. Maybe I just heard the wrong songs because I've just been like, "Well, it's too much for me." Me too. This wasn't this was good. This wasn't what I was expecting either. I mean, Maybe it's definitely this a is hard. Their lighter songs. It, I don't know. I have no frame of reference. It might be. Um. So he goes, "Oh, but I ain't one to call names or throw stones in a house of glass. You try me. We went over that already. Mm -hmm. It's the chorus, I believe, again." Um, you can tell the same lie a thousand times, but it never gets any more true. 
say that to a couple of politicians. Um, so close your eyes once more and one more believe that they all still believe in you. So it's just like a huge liar and just thinks that everyone like just believes everything he's saying, but like really like no. Just one time. Chorus again, just one time. Chorus, chorus. <laughs> but yeah, um, this song's amazing. It's like really good. Like I would listen to it again. Me too. I'm sure. pulling up the lyrics, so I want to see what we're missing. Yeah, because for me personally, like I love, um, I like metal. I love Slipknot, but I don't love when it's just like straight, constant, like death screaming. You know what I mean? Like I like some like good instruments in there, some good singing voices in there, and like this song had that. Mm -hmm. So I totally misjudged Lamb of God, and I'm sorry. Oh well, this was nominated. For Grammy Award for Best Metal Performance Did it in win? 2007. I don't think they'd say it was nominated. I think they would say winner if it won. That's true. Yeah. Well, it won. I believe 2006 was when Slipknot won. I think. Yeah, so it says the first single. From their fifth album, Sacrament, there was also a music video. Um, he said, generally, it's not about any one person in particular. It's about people in the music industry who ego, whose egos become needlessly inflated and they show it. It's a general song. It's applicable to anyone in their life. If a fan thinks, oh, well, this guy is a prick, go ahead and take it and make it yours. That's funny. Yeah. Because it's funny because today's election day. And it just instantly made me think of politicians. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. So he said, take it and make it yours. Well, it's about politicians today. Interesting. So I'm looking at an annotation on Genius. And the very first line of the song, it says, so goddamn easy to write this. You make it spill on the page. It says, according to the 2008 DVD, walk... Walk With Me in Hell, guitarist Mark Morton wrote these lyrics about the vocalist, Randy Blythe's alcohol abuse. Interesting. Since he experienced how alcoholism changed Randy for the worse, he did not find it hard to write from the heart. That's interesting. We'll check out that song for sure. Like drunk on Yourself. So it's interesting. I, I don't know if he's still in the band. Oh... Do you yeah, know what I, I mean? No... He says it's it's the guitarist writing about the vocalist, or vice versa. I just said, I don't know if they're they're performing the song together. Do you know what I mean? Maybe it's very interesting. Yeah, we'll learn some more. You guys teach us too. Let us know in the comments yeah. all the stuff we need to know. For sure. But all right, um, don't forget to like and subscribe, and we'll see you guys tomorrow. See ya.